So that's how you can get Vulcan to work with uh, TGA5. You want this program right here. Then, like I was going to say, you want your Vulcan files, my case, DirectX 11 here, out of the 64 bit folder, be this one and this one. And then, you want this file here out of your system 32 bit folder or system 32 and your Windows install. And then, you go to this program. Here it's going to load this up, then you're going to go import adder, and then you can just click add. You add this one, import by name, and then you hit this rebuilder, and then you press OK, and then we're going to add this one. Open it up, same thing. Import by name. And then you hit the Weave Builder, then hit OK, then save it. So that's how you pretty much can do that to get this running on TJ5. Then once you're done, let's copy these three. So once you load in a few times, it tends to get better. But in my case, it's in the math, because I don't think the CPU can really do much with it. So I'm very CPU limited on this part. I want to say I do see a hell of a smoother uh, frame time graph. Am I some hitches at times?
And, then, and just for the fun, I showed how it runs with the default. So I want to say Vulcan got the tighter, uh, Fang, or, yeah, Fang time, or, ugh, Fang graph, or Fang timing. Because that's the only thing I can see, it's kind of a big difference where this is, looks like a less smoother Fang graph, or Fang time, compared to Vulcan has, this, looks like a smoother Fang timing. If I'm not mistaken here. in this area. And then it doesn't uh, help that I'm recording this on the same break meter. That's just a little bit how to get it to work. Then just for shits and giggles, here's my settings. I have these three off. Then it pants runs pretty solid for the most part. But uh, yeah, this is how to get a Vulcan to work on TJ5. Hope it uh, helps and whatnot. I'll see you guys in the next one.